Hinduism is very ancient and has many traditions and cultures, the presence of casteism in this religion is seen as a compromise, this casteism is very old and its mention is found in Vedas and Puranas, caste division is mentioned in the Vedas and according to it there are four Varnas, these Varnas are Brahmins, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas and Shudras, this Varna system used to be on the basis of occupation only, according to this type of casteism, people of one Varna are separate from people of another Varna and none of them can do the work of another Varna, the system arising out of similar casteism is called Varnashram system, when I read the above statement of Shankaracharya. The words of religious scriptures flashed like lightning in front of my mental eyes, Skanda Purana, Vaishnava Khanda, Chapter 19 and Brahmakand, the anecdote states, Updeshno na kartavio kastlas kasayasit, updesh mehan dash upadhyaja vidyate, if chopdized vipra, Shudram Chaitani Karachit, Tyaja Brahmana Vipram Ten Gramat Brahma Sankulat, Shudraya Chapadeshtaram Dwijam Shandalavat Tyajit, Shudram Chakshara Samyuktam Doratata Parajarvayat, that is, a person of inferior. Caste should never be preached, if Upadhyay preaches, he will be blamed a lot, if a Brahmin preaches to a Shudra, then other Brahmins should boycott him, abandon him like a Chandal and throw him out of the village. Abandon the educated Shudra from far away, it is ordered to keep Shudra away from Vedas very strictly, the Gautama Dharma Sutra states, 88 humor vidmupashranvitstra pajetavyam, shrotra porna mutaharain jivachido kortare, Gautam Dharma Sutra 2 3 4, that is, if a Shudra listens to Veda mantras, then melted Ranga and lack should be poured in his ears. If he utters the words of the Vedas, his tongue should be cut out, if he imbibes the Veda mantras and remembers them, then his body should be cut with an axe etc., if a Shudra wishes to sit on the same seat, sleep on the same bed, walk on the same path and talk with the two castes, Brahmins, Kshatriyas and Vaishyas, as equals, he should be punished, as Sanishayanava Pithishu Samaprasha Pasuriya, Gautam Dharma Sutra 2 3 5, explaining the punishment. Manu has prescribed that the king should expel a Shudra sitting on a seat with a Brahmin by beating him in the waist with hot iron or cut off his buttocks. Sahasranamabhi prapit surakratsyapa krishnaja, katya takvasaya svikan vasya vakrtayat, manas mridi, 8 slash. 281, there is an order in manas mridi to treat Shudra like a robber does with a victim, while ordering the force snatching from the Shudra it is said, Ahuratrini or Dev or Kama Shudraja Veshmana. Nor Shudraja Yagyeshu Kashadasti Parigraha, Manas Mridi, November 13, that is, if the Yigya is not being completed due to two or three reasons, especially due to lack of money, then for its completion, if the Vaishya does not get money, due to rape or theft, he should bring money from the place of a rich Shudra, because the Yigya of Shudra has no connection with. A similar command is found elsewhere in the Manas Mridi as well, Visrabdam Brahman, Shudra Dravya Padanat, Natasi Asti. Kinchitsav Bartraharid Hano Hai S.A., Manas Mridi 8 417, that is, a Brahmin should take the wealth of a Shudra without any choice, because he has no personal wealth and that wealth is acceptable to the owner. That is, the owner has the right to accept the wealth of the Shudra. Hindu theology has declared Shudra as a born slave. The Manas Mridi states that whether a Shudra is bought or not, he should be made to work like a slave because the Creator has kept him only to serve the Brahmins, Shudram tu kare dasya kritankritam fva, dasayeva hai srishto sao brahminsya swayambhova, Manas Mridi, 8 413. The scriptures prescribe to take the maximum rate of interest from the Shudras, Dwikan. Trikan Chitushkin ch panchakan and shatan samam, months are increasing housewifely. Manas Mridi, 8 of 142, that is, take 2% interest from Brahman, 3% from Kshatriya, 4% from Vaishya and 5% from Shudra, that Manas Mridi orders that a Shudra can only marry a woman of the Shudra Varna, while a Brahmin can marry a woman of the Kshatriya, Vaishya and Shudra Varna in addition to his own Varna. A Kshatriya can marry a Vaishya and a Shudra woman other than his Varna and a Vaishya can marry a Shudra woman other than his Varna, Shudrava Bariya. Shudraja sa cha swach bishwa smurti, te cha sva chaiva rajnyash tash sva shagra janamana, manas mridi, march 13, the underscore names underscore of underscore shudras underscore are underscore servants, slavery should also drip from the names of shudras. 
Such orders exist in Hindu religious texts, there is a religious law that there should be the word Das behind their names, for example, Shudraja Prashyasamudam, Manas Mridi, 230 seconds, Das, Shudraja worker, Yamas Mridi 998-5, the same thing is found in many other religious texts as well. There is no such thing in the religious scriptures that such discriminatory orders have been given toward Shudras, similar orders are also found in grammar and poetic texts, Panini writes in his book. Ashtad Hayek, Greeting Shudra, August 2nd 83, that is, when a big person accepts the greeting of a Shudra after being greeted, he should not show much enthusiasm, there is a rule of theater that there should be a separate place for the Shudras to sit in the northeast of the theater. They sit there, Shudra characters appear on the stage dressed in black, hero to be noble, in the epic, there can be a deity or a virtuous person or a Kshatriya hero, in drama, the language of noble men should be Sanskrit and Prakrit of low caste characters, the language of extremely lowly characters Shandaladi should be Paishachi or Magadhi. This casteism has been going on for a long time and many people have been harmed because of it, on the basis of this division. Casteism divided the society into upper classes and lower classes.